I am standing outside of the Cielo Vista Walmart, which was subject to what is considered to be one of the deadliest attacks against Hispanics, Latinos, and immigrants, leaving 22 victims dead and more than two dozen injured early August. Today, the store is reopening its doors to the public, hoping to bring a form of normality to a healing community. We, all, we eventually have to overcome this tragedy event because like throughout, the, throughout history, there have been murders like this, Columbine, you had the Parkland shooting, the Orlando night, Pulse nightclub shooting, and the Vegas shooting. But you just gotta remember that no matter what evil strikes in this world, there's always gonna be good to overcome it. For Leticia Portugal, attending the reopening means supporting her son, who was one of the employees working when the August 3 shooting occurred. After months of healing, the family is ready to return to their local Walmart. It's incredibly well. He was last night asking me, Mom, tell, there's only 18 hours more to go and Walmart's going to be open. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, he was counting down. He was counting down the hours for it to be open. So. Portugal's son is just one of the many employees who are looking forward to returning to work, as the crowds of employees were waiting inside the store to greet customers with cheers and applause, including store manager Robert Evans. Well, I mean, just hearing by the crowd behind you, um, you can hear that they're excited to be here. I, we, my associates and my management team have been working really hard to get the store reopened, um, and we're really happy to see the outcome of the customer and the community. After months of being remodeled, Walmart has rebuilt the inside of the store, removing all traces of a mass shooting. Beautiful job that they did to renovate it, to uh, make sure it was, uh, not, not, a lot of stuff has been changed, a lot of stuff has been uh, 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 cleaned up and what have you. So it's, it's, it's beautiful. The pharmacy's moved. Uh, if you want to buy a gift card or wrapping paper, that's moved. You want to buy makeup, that's moved. The McDonald's is still in the same area. I'd say about 60% of the stuff is still in the same area, but a lot of stuff has been moved. So you see a new Walmart, but say at the same time, you don't see the, uh, the same Walmart. Walmart has announced a permanent memorial honoring the victims, which will be placed on the south side of the store's parking lot in the coming weeks. The structure has been described as a 30-foot candela made up of 22 individual perforated aluminum arcs grouped into one, symbolizing unity and emanating light into the sky. The memorial that, that I, uh, you know, that I heard about, I know it's going to be really uh, uh, awesome. You know, it's going to be real awesome and all that, which I, uh, uh, anybody that comes out from, uh, comes out, uh, comes in from out of town and all that, I know they're going to come here and they're going to see it. And, uh, you know, and that's how I'm going, I'm going to, you know, uh, be seeing it uh, as a memory of, uh, of the people that uh, passed away here, here and all that. So. The memorial not only honors the victims and their families, but the El Paso community's perseverance for the last three months and the more to come. Hate is not going to win. Uh, uh, El Paso is strong. El Paso uh, is a loving community. So, Reporting for The Prospector, Anaí Diaz.